Good morning friends, I am S. Hariharan, Head PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangu. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laplace transforms. So in this video, we are going to cover the following topics like definition of Laplace transform, first shifting theorem, differentiation and integration of Laplace transform and inverse Laplace transforms one by one. The very first one, what is meant by Laplace transform? The Laplace transform is an integral transformation of a function f of t from the time domain into the complex frequency domain, giving capital F of s. That is, L of f of t equal to capital F of s equal to integral 0 to infinity f of t into e power minus st into dt. Here, it is called the one-sided or unilateral Laplace transform because the lower limit is zero. If the lower limit is minus infinity, then that type of Laplace transform is said to be two-sided or bilateral Laplace transform. Next one, the Laplace transform of unit step. It means L of u of t. So, L of u of t equal to 1 divided by s. The next one, the Laplace transform of exponential function e power minus alpha t into u of t. That is L of e power minus alpha t into u of t equal to 1 divided by s plus alpha. So next to important one, first shifting theorem. The first shifting theorem that is called s shifting, it is it is the statement. What is the statement? If L of f of t equal to f bar of s, then L of e power a t into f of t equal to f bar of s minus a. This result is said to be first shifting theorem. So next, differentiation and integration of Laplace transform. The very first one, differentiation of Laplace transform, that is, if L of f of t equal to f bar of s, then L of t power n into f of t can be written as minus 1 power n, d power n divided by ds power n into f power of s, where n equal to 1, 2, 3, etc., the second one, integration of Laplace transform. If L of f of t equal to f bar of s and f of t divided by t has Laplace transform, then L of f of t divided by t equal to integral 0 to infinity f bar of s into ds. So next one, the inverse Laplace transform. Suppose f of s has the general form of capital F of s equal to n of s that is numerator polynomial whole term divided by d of s that is denominator polynomial. The finding the inverse Laplace transform of f of s involve two step. The first step decompose f of s into simple terms by using partial fraction expansion. And the second step find the inverse of each term by matching entries in Laplace transform table. So, in applications of inverse Laplace transform is, we have to apply inverse Laplace transform in first order differential equations. Consider a linear time invariant system defined by d into i of t divided by dt plus a into i of t equal to b into x of t, that is s into i of s minus y of 0 plus a into i of s equal to b into x of s. Second one, apply the one-sided Laplace transform. It means the lower limit is zero. And the third one, we can now use simple algebraic manipulations to find the solution. That is h of s equal to y of s divided by x of s. That is b divided by s plus a. Thank you.